Hello and welcome back to another class guide of Lamplighters League. My name is Heiken and today we're going to take a look at Fidir, one of uh, the most bruising characters of the game. As always, I'm going to look at the skills first, then consumables and equipment, and then finally undrawn hand, plus some gameplay footage. So in 10 minutes, very concise, you should uh, get all of the infos that you need in order to play Fidir. Let's jump right into his uh, skills and see what he is doing. Number one, uh, his passive ability. Um, Fidir gains rage whenever he's struck by an attack and rage will have a secondary effect on most of his abilities. So for Fidir, it is one of the few characters where you don't need to worry that he actually gets hit because that is what makes him even more awesome uh, in the fight. Secondly, one of uh, the best uh, signature abilities in the game, uh, Fidir can grab an enemy and throw him into a selected uh, location and in a rather large AOE, I think four or five in size, um, he will create Nocturne. So massive crowd control on top of it um, once he does have manhandle available. It is a, a great ability by itself, but with all of the other abilities together, it, get, it gets just even better than that. So how do you play Fadir and what are the abilities to look out for? So for starters, um, his uh, first ability that I want to highlight is Rancor, which comes in three uh, directions um, or three iterations and Rancor as a passive ability really synergizes well with the rage. So while Svidir has rage, his attacks deal in the third iteration 25% more damage, shred 10 armor and his speed is increased by two. So there is a very likely or real scenario where you would want Fadir to have rage. Now, how do you get rage and how do you get others to attack you? The answer to that is in the provoke skill, provoke one and later provoke two. So provoke is a self buff where um, Fadir receives 50% less damage for one round. And uh, on top of that, with uh, level two provoke, uh, he negates one point of incoming stress each time he's attacked. So that's um, a reduction of stress on top of it. And he provokes uh, nearby enemies. I think it was uh, six-ish uh, AOE. So that is quite a large AOE. He just needs to stand in the middle of the enemies in order to do it. And then they will attack him. He shrugs off most of the damage due to the 50% damage reduction. He also reduces stress as parts of that and gains rage. And once he gets rage, uh, Fidir gets going because he all of a sudden has a built-in 10 armor shred, 2 speed increase and 25% more damage. The third ability that I would like to highlight with uh, Fidir is his shotgun ability. And really, shotgun as an ability is, is not bad at all because it is his core bread and butter um, uh, shot. The shotgun itself uh, before upgraded is already strong. Once upgraded is even stronger. Fadir comes with two ammunition. So one of the things that you will need to solve for is his low amount of ammunition that he does have available. Um, but Fadir's shotgun, once he does have rage, is absolutely crazy. Another good ability that you should know about is the headbutt ability, which is in melee attack that on a standard uh, will automatically deal dazed. That in itself is great, but once uh, Fidir uh, flies into a rage, it inflicts knockdown on the infected target. Um, and um, Fidir, as with his shotgun, heals uh, damage. And that's going to be important. Um, Fidir does have an included healing ability where he heals damage once he uses a shotgun or the headbutt ability. You can see that here on the passive ability spite. Um, while Fidir has Rage, Shotgun attacks heal him for each target hit. And that really makes him an incredibly tanky boy. Because all of a sudden, the moment that he gains Rage, he does not only uh, reduce um, the um, stress that he has for every time he gets attacked, but he also has 25% more damage, armor shred, speed increase, heals, and knocks down with his headbutt, plus also uh, heals with headbutt on top of that. Uh, last info or last um, little highlight is the manhandle ability uh, where the um, I already talked about his signature ability uh, on the third iteration of it um, Fidir starts with two charges of that ability of the knockdown and 
he also generates rage after throwing a target. So uh, in later iterations, what I tend to do is not be shy with manhandle, but essentially go in with manhandle right away, then create rage and then continue to go on uh, with uh, rage through, uh, through the entire battle. The rest of the abilities is also fine, but nothing to really write home about. Now, what makes uh, Fedir an exceptionally good character is that he synergizes well with equipment. So let's take a look at it. Fedir has two uh, dedicated weaknesses, one being his low speed and the other one being his inability to generate action points by himself. And both of it can be salvaged. So let's take a look at how we're going uh, to go about it. So in terms of getting ability points or action points rather, you want to go with Veriditas Amulet. Very similar to how Celestine works, Fedir can gain a lot of AP for free by just using the amulet. The moment that you do have rage, um, you will heal with every shotgun shot, you will heal with every headbutt. So per definition, Fedir, instead of having two AP, de facto runs with four AP, and that is fantastic. Uh, so that is great, but in order to get there, in order to manhandle and get rage or in order to get into the um, enemies, you need speed. And that is why I'm running speed suit, uh, in this case version 2, um, on Fedir uh, to give him extra speed. He's a very slow boy, but with uh, the speed increase he comes up to 7, which is palatable. If he has rage he comes up to 9, so once he gets going Fedir is a force to be reckoned with. In order to solve his ammunition problem, I'm running Ammunition Talisman 2, which is uh, plus 2 maximum ammo just off the bat. Uh, that gives his shotgun not only 2, but 4 shots, which is plenty and allows him to be a little bit uh, stronger. In terms of equipment, um, you are free to use whatever you want. He heals himself very nicely. He typically stress relieves himself very nicely, so you could go with all um, uh, kind of um, crowd control equipment. You could uh, use thunder bombs, you could use fire bombs um, on top of it. You can even go uh, with healing elixirs so that he heals others or support um, other playstyles with using stress flasks uh, or just dynamite um, as he isn't afraid to also take damage while standing in dynamite as long as he does his uh, have his provoke going because it's only 50% and he can heal back up. So there's a lot that Fedir can do um, as once he gets going he's a very strong character. There are a couple of things to make him even stronger and the way that I play uh, for, uh, Fedir is due to passive cards. So Fedir's uh, first card that I recommend is the Gambler. After dodging an attack he becomes uh, inspired and recovers extra health. That is good when Fedir is standing in the thickest because uh, every uh, shot that is missed uh, he will become inspired uh, and even more importantly he will heal which is great. Uh, by the way out of turn healing also triggers the amulet so he would start with 3 AP next uh, turn. Secondly, I am running the Great Wind, which whenever Fidir is inspired, he also gains 2 speed, solves the speed problem, gets him up to 11 speed in my setup, and whilst inspired he has a chance, 50% chance in that case, to generate an AP which isn't uh, all too bad uh, because um, his shotgun attacks uh, will hit multiple targets so he kind of gets an AP here and there on top of it. And finally uh, the Avenger um, max hit point increase uh, for him and any target who attacks him becomes marked. That nicely um, uh, plays together with other characters like Purnima for instance uh, that really like to have that marking so Fedir uh, with that card can be a nice uh, com uh, combi uh, combination character. You could also um, use other cards um, in order to further make him work. A couple of honorable mentions here could be the Serpent to give him a sure way of gaining one extra um, AP. Another option that Fedir could definitely uh, go with is the Bull in order to get another knockdown. Another option could be the Sage uh, to give him another cooldown reduction 
or another um, option um, uh, could be uh, the Forsaken to allow him to gain uh, dazed and knockdown ability with his shotgun, so more crowd control for him. Whatever you skill uh, him with, the core chassis, as long as you do have the talisman uh, speed uh, way and enough uh, ammunition, will really make him a strong character, and we're going to see just how strong he is when we're taking a look at the gameplay. All right, we're starting our Fidir gameplay where um, we have found ourselves in a situation where we successfully ambushed a convoy, but got as, uh, assassin ambushed in return. So we're in the open and that is a perfect spot where Fidir begins to excel. Uh, we're going to start uh, today's um, Fidir lesson with picking up the first of the assassins, trying to teach them a valuable lesson and fully knocking out four additional ones so that's five people just out of charge he has two charges of that ability that's a fantastic way of uh, just starting the game Fidir then continues carefully not uh, trying to explode our own friends by uh, mm, uh, by dishing out some damage with provoking we could even take more um, enemies onto us so sure why not Fedir is going to dish out an overarching amount of 300 points of damage, heals himself, which is unnecessary at this point, and then begins to provoke every right. single one of uh, these guys into uh, running into him. Uh, that will only last for one round, but we want uh, the um, one assassin to hit him so that he continues to have rage and also make sure that this assassin gets marked, which is important for poor Nima. Let's see how this plays out in the next round. A little bit later in the same fight, we're finding ourselves uh, camping the reinforcement spot and Fidir nicely uses his uh, shotgun in order to deliver some pain right off uh, the bat. You can see enemies are scattering in all directions and what would be a better uh, way of getting to them than um, just clustering them up nicely. Let's take a look at Fidir's ability to taunt them and just how little damage he takes. So we deliberately are not going to kill them this time. Fidir provokes all three of them, mind you. He still has plenty of um, action points left over. I could headbutt and simply take out one of them, but I'm deciding not to do that. Why not reload and wait for the pain to come? He's standing in the open and I want to make a, a very uh, clear statement that he is one of the best tanks in the game. So. Uh, with 100 um, points of damage, he is just going to stay where he's at. We're going to get ourselves invisible with the rest of the team, and we're going to see how well he's doing. Gianni uh, sees what's happening and uh, just moves into uh, security. Keep up. Helps himself with evasion and uh, we're going to end uh, the turn right there let's see what the three uh, will do to them so these are three point blank shots unfortunately they uh, resort uh, back to almost no damage whatsoever uh, with their uh, mediocre grenades but there you see it, um, 12 points of damage and 50 points of damage. The point that I want to make is coming in now. Fidir has uh, taken some damage, but it does have rage. And let's take a look how this is going to play out for the enemy. We're taking one shot um, for uh, just nice uh, shy of 200 uh, points of uh, damage. We're almost filled up. And with that healing, Fidir begins to get a new... Um, AP. He continues yeah. to get uh, health. He's already filled up. As you can see, uh, mm, the enemy um, is now completely obliterated. He uh, continues to kill both of these guys. Before then, moving in and just for the funsies, begins to brutally strike that guy down. And 
Uh, if that wouldn't be enough, he doesn't care if he's burning, to be fair. If that wouldn't be enough, he can now reload and or overwatch. So, Fadira has just single-handedly manhandled that patrol of three, taken zero points of damage. All I used was uh, basic abilities. As you have seen, once he gets injured and once he uh, becomes enraged, he effectively can take on four or five enemies all by himself. If they cluster up somewhat nicely, then that's no problem whatsoever. And if they don't uh, cluster up or don't play nicely, you can always manhandle uh, one of them into a group of others and then essentially shotgun at least three targets. That's at least my experience. And with that many targets, he very, very seldomly um, comes to a, a point where he's taking too much damage. The 250 hit points are plenty um, for, for him to survive multiple attacks. And the only uh, thing that you should be aware of is that Provoke itself does have a cooldown two rounds, but there are ways of reducing that as well if you really must. Elsewise, typically Fadir doesn't require a lot of uh, pause in between. Say, if there would be still four or five enemies, I would use a Thunder Bomb just to take a little bit damage away. And since even if he takes full damage, he still has the healing capabilities next round, he is going to be fine against anything less than, let's say, six enemies because he has enough hit points. So, true bruiser in, uh, in the truest sense of bruiser. That's where he got all of his scars from. I hope you enjoyed uh, the guide for Fidir and his build. Uh, very effective uh, one. I hope it was a good showcase for it. If you do have an improvement potential for any of uh, the parts of his build, let me know in the comment section down below. And elsewise, I would like to invite you to check out a couple of the other Lamplighter League guides. I have plenty of them. Thanks a lot and have a good day. Bye bye.